The ill feeling between former FBI Director James Comey and the president who fired him burst back into the open in dueling interviews on Wednesday that followed the end of the Robert Mueller investigation. Their fresh clash revived the mystery of their short, disastrous relationship at the beginning of President Donald Trump's term, which plunged the administration into crisis and led to the appointment of the special counsel. In retrospect, Trump's move in firing Comey was the start of a long-term power play that established the president's dominance over the judicial establishment. Trump on Wednesday blasted Comey as a terrible guy and slammed his leadership team at the FBI as not clean, to put it mildly, in an interview on Fox News's Hannity. William Barr's statement Sunday quoting Mueller as saying the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities and the attorney general's personal determination that the evidence developed during the special counsel's investigation is not sufficient to establish obstruction of justice represented a huge political win for the president. But it puzzled Comey that Mueller punted on the question of obstruction which was largely rooted in his dismissal in May 2017. Trump had said on television he was motivated to fire Comey over the then-FBI director's oversight of the Russia investigation. I'm not prejudging it, I'm just saying it doesn't make sense on its face, and so I have a lot of questions," Comey said in an interview that aired Wednesday on NBC's Nightly News. At the time, Trump's sudden decision to fire Comey was widely mocked as the most disastrous political call in decades. But it now appears like the president will escape paying a lasting political consequence for a move that significantly consolidated his own power. Comey's firing is just one of the stunning twists in the Russia drama that are beginning to take on a new complexion. The late emergence of Barr who moved swiftly to manage the end of the Russia investigation is another such twist. In the short term, Trump's dismissal of Comey rid him of a troublesome, powerful figure who assessed that the president wanted to co-opt him into a patronage-style relationship and to infringe ethical barriers between the White House and Justice Department. In the long term, by exploiting ill-defined norms governing the limits of executive authority, Trump, either by accident or design, may have expanded the power of the presidency itself, setting a significant precedent for the future. Presidents have the authority to dismiss anyone in the executive branch, but the situation becomes constitutionally murky if the move appears to be an effort to derail a criminal investigation into their own conduct. A future unscrupulous commander-in-chief could use Trump's treatment of Comey as justification for nefarious ends. It could send a signal to future presidents that they could do this and get away with it, and I think that is a very disturbing possibility," said Jens David Olin, vice dean at Cornell Law School. It seems to be creating a precedent that if a president doesn't like an investigation that is getting close to the president, they can just dismiss the attorney general or the FBI director 